I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America. To the republic from which it stands. One nation, under God. Indivisible. With liberty and justice for all. Hey RHS, I'm Kate Tolstica. And I'm Hannah Daw, and this is your Daily Dose for Tuesday, March 26, 2019. Attention current sophomores and juniors. Today is your last day to apply to be a part of Link Crew 2020. What's going on RHS? To you future juniors and seniors that are interested in Link Crew, here's some more information and some feedback about Link Crew. What is the main purpose of Link Crew? The main purpose of Link Crew is leadership, um, becoming a leader within your school and helping our current ninth grade population be successful. Are you guys making any new changes to Link Crew? Oh, we're pretty booked up. Probably the biggest change would be we're going to do a little bit more academic intervention probably next year. Are you guys going to do any new activities with the uh, upcoming freshmen? We hope so. Every year when we first meet with the new leaders, we actually pick their brains for different activities that we'd like to do instead of like the tailgate and the cocoa and cram and, you know, so every year we pick them for social activities. How many people are you guys going to need next year? Well, that depends on the size of the freshman class, but usually the freshmen come in around 3, 350, so anywhere between 85 and 90. How can you sign up? So we will have a Google form that will be available on the um, beardaily.com through Mrs. Haddad. Are you going to be doing Link Crew next year? Yes, I plan on applying to Link Crew again this year. Um, it was a really fun experience, and I really want to get to know more freshmen. Yes, that's the plan. I'm coming back to the LC crew. Let's go, man. Uh, do you recommend any people to join Link Crew? Yeah, I'd recommend it. Uh, it's a good way to meet new people and to help out the freshmen. Um, yeah, I totally recommend people to do it. It was a really fun experience, and it's nice just to see like the freshmen, like to have a familiar face in the halls and see them get excited to talk to you. What did you enjoy about Link Crew? Um, I definitely enjoyed seeing all the freshmen and decorating their lockers and going in into their classrooms and giving them candy grams. Make sure to keep an eye out for that Google form. Hope to see you guys there. Now back to the anchors. Applications are available at rhsbeardaily.com. Apply by 3 p.m. Don't miss this chance to be a part of building a strong community at RHS. Don't forget the Spring Fling semi-formal dance is coming up right after spring break. The dance will be on Friday, April 12th from 7 to 10 p.m. Tickets are on sale in the counseling office and during lunches this week for only $10. No tickets will be sold at the door. 16 DECA members are headed to Nationals in Orlando at the end of April. Hey RHS, we're going to go around and talk to some of the people who made it to DECA Nationals. How do you feel about making it to DECA Nationals? Um, it's a really great feeling. Uh, my mom, when she went here to Roosevelt and uh, she did DECA, she went Nationals and she went to Orlando specifically. So I feel like I'm kind of just following the bloodline. Oh, it's a great feeling. Me and my partner worked really hard to get there, so being called up on stage and making it is a lot of fun, and just the vibe of um, Orlando and like Atlanta last year was a lot of fun. How do you think DECA went overall this year? Um, it was amazing. We had a great group of kids, a great group of uh, qualifiers for the state conference, and then a good manageable number that will be representing us in Orlando this year. And what are you going to do to prepare? Um, I'm just going to be getting with my uh, partners, Zach Grew and Benjamin Charnota, and we're just going to be practicing and uh, getting ready. Practice a lot. We go over our lines a lot, and that's basically getting two nationals and then four nationals. We just practice more. Where and when is nationals? Orlando, Florida, April 27th through May 1st. And would you recommend DECA to anybody who doesn't do it? A hundred percent. DECA is the best club in Wyandotte history. Do DECA, all right? That's the biggest thing I can say. You will not regret it. I know it seems like a lot of hard work, but it's not. It's honestly, as long as you put forth effort, you can make it very far in DECA. Wow, sounds like they're really working hard. Best of luck at Nationals. The Gay Straight Alliance is meeting today after school in Mr. Key's room. New members are always welcome. Also, Euchre Club meets today from 3 p.m. to 4 p.m. in the staff lounge. DECA's Disney raffle continues through Thursday. See Mrs. Kamiski or any DECA members for more information. Now here's Travis with sports. What's up, RHS? Varsity Baseball lost to Girls Deal 4-3 on a Friday in a close game. Varsity Boys and Girls Track competed at the Eastern Michigan University Invitational on Friday. Nay Atwater placed fifth in the high jump. Varsity softball split in their scrimmage against Flat Rock on Saturday, winning one of their two games, and JV softball had a doubleheader against Flat Rock and won their first game and lost their second game. Tennis plays today at home against Riverview. Varsity baseball plays today against Divine Child. JV plays Divine Child, and freshman plays Riverview. 
Good luck to all baseball teams. That's all for sports. Now back to you, Hannah. Thanks, Travis. Ninth and 10th graders get in, get in on the one-to-one -one Chromebook program. Once your parents take care of the contract and insurance, stop in the LMC before or after school or during lunch to pick up your Chromebook. Finn Gomez is working for a grant for the Detroit Salsa Company and needs our help. Go to the website below and vote for the Detroit Salsa Company and help this local Why Not business. Spring is in the air and Teddy's is holding a daily sale, a daisy sale. You can get individual daisies for $1 or $5 for a half dozen and $10 for a dozen. Stop by Teddy's today. Congratulations to the members of Concert Choir and Acapella Choir on their performance at Choral Festival last weekend. The Concert Choir earned a Division II rating, only four points shy of Division I, and Acapella Choir secured a Division I rating with the highest score achieved by any RHS choir. They will be attending states in April. The RHS Instrumental Music Department will be hosting the State Jazz Festival at RHS on Wednesday, March 27th. The event will be held in the auditorium and will feature performances of a dozen region jazz bands, including the RHS Jazz Ensemble. Performances are free and open to the public. What's up, RHS? National Honor Society is having their induction ceremony March 26th. Here's some information that you may not be aware of about NHS. Uh, the National Honor Society has been a part of Roosevelt for a really long time and to be an NHS and they are sent a letter to invite them to apply. The application process uh, requires a few essays, uh, some teacher and outside of school recommendations. Uh, then we have a ceremony, uh, the NHS induction, give the students a certificate and just kind of welcome them as a part of our um, organization. Our officers give speeches about the pillars of NHS that we find important. Hi, I'm Emma Rankin and I'm the Vice President of NHS. Um, I've been in NHS for two years now and being Vice President along with the other officers, we're in charge of creating our opportunities for the members. My experience with NHS has been great. It's made me reach out to community organizations and school organizations that I wouldn't have normally and not to mention it looks great on college applications. I'm Haley Sheldrake. It's my first year into NHS. Um, NHS is where you have to have a 3.5 GPA and you have to do community service hours and it's a great way to keep your grades up. So my name is Daniel Pitcher. I'm a new inductee to National Honor Society and I'm expecting to build my character and build on my leadership. Chill, like not chill, but help around the community and just do things to make myself a better person and human. The acapella choir will be performing at the induction ceremony. Congrats to the Bears that made it in the NHS and come support. Oh, thanks guys. Now back to the acres. The RHS Student Council Blood Drive is coming up Friday, April 12th. Sign up to donate and save three lives. Register to donate blood by going to mrskg.weebly.com. Students taking the SAT and work keys on April 9th and 10th Right after spring break, your room assignments are posted in the following locations. Principal's office, the post, the cafeteria, the old gym, the new gym, Mrs. Blake's room, Mr. Gravitz's room, and Mr. Souls's room. Happy birthday to Justice Holland and Seth Rader. Hey Hannah, why do bees have sticky hair? I don't know. Why? Because they use honeycombs. <laughs> Save, Save the, the bees, bees RHS. RHS.